kind of like you're on an acid trip or something. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Oh, I'm still a little bit nervous, but I'm not too bad. Um, there's a lot of other artists here, which is really nice. First market has officially started. Let's see how it goes. Hello guys and welcome to another vlog. This one is very important to me. <laughs> I'm doing my very first market stall as a small business <laughs> and I'm so excited. <laughs> It is currently Thursday the 26th of January, which means I have nine days until I do my first market stall. I have done quite a bit already, as you would have seen in my last vlog. Yeah, I'm, I need to do things like make backing cards. I designed a new bookmark for it. I actually have no idea how much stock I should have for it. If I'm gonna end up having too much or too little, I really don't know. I'm trying to see this first market um, event as sort of like a trial run. So, <laughs> the game plan for today Day. I am going to do some product photos. I need to do product photos for my Etsy listings anyway But also the woman who's doing like in charge of the market She asked me to send over some product photos. My back is killing me I just usually do my product photos on my bed because I've got nowhere else to do them My desk is like too small plus it's really dark in that corner So I, I usually do it on my bed because that's where the only window is <laughs> um, but it really hurts my back. I think I'm getting through them all right. I think this backdrop was really nice. It is quarter past one so I've been doing this for about 45 minutes actually. Hello hello it is now currently Wednesday. I took a few days off from doing market stuff. I didn't really get a whole lot done over the weekend because I had to do a lot of social media stuff. I thought I'd get all that done over like the weekend and the start of the week. So from now until Saturday when the market is, it's all market stuff. I did have a little bit of a stress out while I was eating some lunch because I realized I don't have a whole lot of paper left and I don't have a whole lot of ink left. That is a little bit of an issue because I was hoping to have like 20 of each item at least. However, I don't think that's going to be possible for this market. Um, I currently don't have enough money to buy like paper and ink and all that stuff. I did also want to make some stickers but again I don't know how long my ink is gonna last if I'm gonna be able to make stickers. So yeah, a um, bit of a stress out. So I was printing out two sheets of these bookmarks and I went downstairs to check on them and I thought this sheet was done but it wasn't and I gently tugged at it. And it's kind of like gave this really weird effect to my bookmark because I tugged at it. It's kind of like you're on an acid trip or something. <laughs> it's really weird. It's, like, it's kind of cool in a way though. I kind of like it. Oh guys, I'm so silly. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Oh, I just realized I was cutting up because before I was cutting bookmarks, I was doing like A5 pieces of paper. I was cutting up paper. So I was like in paper cutting mode. I cut these up. They're not laminated. Mm. Oh no. For someone who complained about not having a lot of ink and paper, I sure am wasting a lot of ink and paper. I don't know. I might just try like pr putting them through the laminator anyway and try to save them because otherwise I'm gonna have to like waste more paper and more ink and I just, I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. At least I realized before I started cutting up the other two sheets, but I'm devastated. <laughs> try and see if I can somehow fix it. I think it worked. Okay, I think I've saved them, thank goodness. That was stressful. I think I just took like a few years off my life there, not gonna lie. It's a weird thing to die early for, but it seems okay. It might need to go for the laminator again, but it seems okay. Okay, there we go. I think I'm gonna put these ones through the laminator again, just for like safe measure. Okay. The bookmarks are saved. I'm very glad about that. <laughs> I am really tired actually. Those bookmarks took longer than I thought, but I got them all done. So I haven't used as much ink as I thought I would, so I might be able to do stickers tomorrow. Saying that, I haven't done my backing cards, my pins and stuff yet, so we'll have to see tomorrow. If I do happen to have enough ink left, there's another print that I want to do. I'll just need to buy more paper. So yeah, I wouldn't mind having an extra print on my table because I think just having two is fine but like I, I just want one more I want to have a bit more of a full table and I it is a print that I like I used to sell it on Etsy but it didn't do very well so I stopped but I want to bring it back for the markets and see how it does there good morning it is Thursday we only got one more day until the market um, I've just been printing out my little logo thing 
Thank you. Um, I would like an actual like banner at some point, but as I'm new to this, we're doing paper for now. I'm gonna put it on that little easel I got, so I still think it's gonna look cute. I might laminate this as well just to keep it safe because I, I can use this at like any convention even if I do get a banner in the future to go on tables and stuff it'll still be good to have this I also did my pricing sheet now I am just going to be counting up my acrylic pins and how many backing cards I need for the rest of the acrylic pins that I have I do only have one sheet of paper left my ink my light cyan and my light magenta are the ones that are running low the most but I think if I buy some more paper the ink I could maybe keep printing things until it runs out fully so awesome news I just counted my acrylic pins and how many more backing cards I'd need I only need three more of each which I can absolutely do so the backing cards my pins will be done good news um I printed these off uh, we're all set now they're all ready to go I still have ink left I think I probably have enough ink left to make at least another good five or ten prints. I think I'm probably just gonna buy some more paper and then I can make like at least like another five or ten prints um, of the other print that I have. So laminated everything always looks so much better laminated. Good morning guys, it is Saturday. It's the day of the market. I haven't been nervous all week, but like ten minutes ago I just started like <sighs> you know what? It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna go well. I have faith. But it is currently quarter past seven. I woke up at six. I just finished getting ready and everything. And I haven't eaten yet, so I'm gonna go have breakfast. And then I'm gonna get ready and get all my stuff together and leave for the market. So we got a bunch of snacks that we're taking. That's probably gonna get hungry. Um, I got a water bottle. And I'm also bringing a flask of coffee, mostly just to keep my hands warm because I'm worried it's gonna be cold. <laughs> Well, I hope this is in frame because I have no idea. Yeah, I did not have time to film anything before I left because it just all happened so quickly. I thought I was prepared and I really wasn't. So we have to kind of rush out, but we are literally around the corner from it now. So yeah, nervous and excited all at the same time. Okay, so here is everything set up. <sighs> yes, yeah, so we have to go out and buy a tablecloth. Um, I don't know why I just assumed there would be one. I, that was really stupid of me actually. <laughs> I just didn't plan ahead basically but yeah everything is ready. I feel like the table is actually a bit bigger than I expected but this is my first event so I didn't have a clue what I was coming into really. Um, but I know next month I'm definitely gonna have more stock. I'm gonna have um, sticker sheets and more prints because those are what I'm currently working on. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's laid out. It doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm ready now to start the day. It is 8.40 right now. And that means it's 20 minutes until the market opens up. So yeah, I'm still a little bit nervous, but I'm not too bad. Um, there's a lot of other artists here, which is really nice. <laughs> it's nice to like talk to them and meet other people. So yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Yes, I am really thankful for this tablecloth because not only does it cover all the mess down here, I've also set up like a little barrier <laughs> with my like prints and stuff that I've and my pricing sheet that I've got on the side to hide like my coffee and my water and everything. So yes. That is the setup for today. I forgot to mention as well, my mums went back to get um, some frames because I have framed art prints in the house and I did forget them so I knew I was gonna forget something and that's what it was um, I just thought it'd be nice to have some frames on the table make it look a little bit nicer fill it out a little bit more display my prints and stuff so yeah she's gonna be coming back with those soon so that'll fill up the table a little bit more so it's nine o'clock so the market has officially started it's quiet right now but it's like still morning time so I would expect it would take a few hours to pick up a little bit um, my mum forgot the keys to our house when she went back to pick up the photo frames so no photo frames this time that's okay there's always next time um, there was something else I was gonna tell you and I forgot oh it's not as cold as I thought it's actually quite warm I'm not like freezing one of the things I was worried about so I'm really happy it's not really cold because I do not do well with the cold so yeah first market has officially started let's see how it goes 
So it's currently 12.14 so I'm just eating some lunch and things have been going really well. Oh, <laughs> yay! <laughs> okay, I got a custom bail fund. <laughs> um, my bookmarks have been selling the best so far and I've sold I think maybe one keychain. So yeah, bookmarks <laughs> have been the best seller so far today. that much footage at the market and there are a few reasons for that. One, there wasn't a whole lot going on at the time that I thought was like I need to vlog this and two, I really wanted to be like present. I didn't even bring anything to like do while I was selling at the market. I really wanted to be like present to like my plan was to like lock eyes with people as they passed and like lure them in with my gaze you know like we've locked eyes come buy my stuff. That was my plan. <laughs> that was my strategy. <laughs> um, so I didn't really um, want to like have a camera in my face and like scare people off. I wanted to like be approachable and look friendly and all that stuff. But I want to do a little review of my first market, tell you some things that I learned, how my experience was, what I thought for it and even the money that I made. Overall, I really liked it. I thought it was a really, really good experience. I want to talk a little bit about the market as well because the market isn't that well known. It wasn't a big market. It was actually really cheap to get a table at that market because where the market usually is, they are currently doing like construction work in that area. So we've had to kind of move the market a little bit and there's not like, I don't think there's as much space. Um, so the tables there, they like, completely dropped the prices on the tables and it was like £20 for a table there all day including like as many chairs as you needed and all that kind of stuff so really good considering a lot of tables at events usually are like in between 40, 80 and even sometimes over £100 so £20 for a table, really good, it was really cheap, really easy to get into so I really appreciate that. It's not a very well known market and I knew that going into it because I never heard of it and everyone I know has never heard of it and it's like in the center of the city. In terms of experience and things I learned and people I met during that day, it was invaluable. I learned so much. I met people that were really amazing and really helpful. Um, I am not afraid to tell you guys that I did only make 30 pounds from that market but that paid for the table and like public liability insurance and all that stuff so plus a little bit of profit. Some people might not think that's a lot but a lot of my products aren't like well priced. I didn't sell any prints which shocked me a little bit but honestly I'm kind of glad that I didn't sell out of things because now that I know that I have stuff left over and I have quite a lot of stuff left over that means I have an opportunity to do another market. Yes, I think honestly it was a really good experience. I really enjoyed myself and and like I said, people like didn't know about this market. Like they weren't like coming to like look at the stuff. They were just kind of browsing as they passed. Being in the city center, it's like a lot of people just want to get from A to B. So like it was a lot of people just passing by and having a nose and not necessarily like being there for the market. As far as I'm aware, there was only one person who came <laughs> to actually look at the market. It was a very small market. There were a lot of people coming and like to my to my stall and they were picking things up and going like oh this is adorable I really love this or like this is so cute or this is the best thing I've ever seen in my life I'm not even kidding that is literally a quote someone said today I find that a very valuable experience anyway because it taught me what people like even if they didn't necessarily buy it on that day it's still like a big indication people loved my bookmarks people loved my keychains and my pins were quite popular stickers and prints not so much so it's just another like indicator to me like right I I know what interests people now, I know what sells well. It's really good for that stuff and I think as well like it's just nice to see people face to face. Honestly doing a market is such a valuable experience and like I said I am planning to do more markets, more events, I'm planning to do conventions in the future and it can only go up from here. Honestly the way I see it I learned a lot, I made profit, I did not lose money. <laughs> I'm excited to do my next market stall. It was a very nice experience and I am now 30 pound up. <laughs> if you're watching this because you are wanting to get into market events, honestly, I absolutely suggest doing them. It was so good. 
and you won't regret it. Even if you're worried about not making a ton of money, I can guarantee you, you are gonna just love the experience just because you get to meet other small business owners and just talk to people face to face. Like, it's, it's so nice when like people kept coming up to my shop and going like, this is amazing, or like, wow, you're such a good artist. If anything, it's just a really nice ego boost. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen the vlog where I talked about getting into a market for the first time, then you can watch this video right here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>